Welcome to the Integrative Psychiatry and Wellness Program's five-minute self-compassion meditation. My name is Debbie Cohen, and I'll be leading you through today's practice. I'll start with a few words on uh, self-compassion. So what is self-compassion? It can feel like a foreign concept for many. According to Kristen Neff, guru on self-compassion, she says, self-compassion is a way of relating to suffering with kindness and care. When this kindness and care is directed toward oneself, it's self-compassion. Um, in, in my words, it's being with oneself. And that often implies kindness. Here's how it sounds for me. It's okay, sweetie. At the heart is acceptance of whatever's going on. And according again to Kristen Neff, there are three pathways, um, which all get us to that experience of being with ourselves. The first is mindfulness practice, where we can accept everything that's going on and witness it from a kind, compassionate place. Um, you know, we're with ourselves whenever we recognize we're in this boat with everyone else, recognizing our common humanity, like we do when we're laughing at a joke because it, this happens to everybody. And of course, kindness, and then directed towards ourselves. So the practice we're taking today is loving kindness meditation, which is a practice where um, you imagine someone in your mind's eye and you send wishes of well-being towards that person. Um, and you usually do it through the repetition of phrases. So um, in this case today, we'll try directing those phrases towards ourselves. And I'll teach you five phrases, which are a simplified version of how I first learned the practice. Um, if it's hard to send phrases to yourself, you might try sending the phrases to yourself, but picturing yourself as a young child. Um, and if that still feels like a stretch, you know what, just send those phrases to an animal, send the phrases of good wishes to um, someone who's been a, a great support to you, great help to you, um, but where it's not a reciprocal relationship where um, you've been on the receiving end and there's nothing expected of you. So let's let, I'm going to suppose that you're picturing yourself and you'll send yourself these following five phrases. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and at ease. May you be healthy and strong. May you care well for yourself. May you be at peace. All right, so sit up tall, close the eyes, rest the hands on the legs. Maybe close the eyes, maybe just take the gaze down. Relax the forehead, relax the brow, relax the belly. and connect to the rhythm of the breathing. Now picture yourself in your mind's eye at whatever age you'd like. And holding this image in your mind's eye Send yourself the following phrases. I'll repeat them three times. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and at ease. May you be healthy and strong. May you care well for yourself. May you be at peace.
May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and at ease. May you care well for yourself. May you be at peace. May you be safe and protected. May you be happy and at ease. May you care well for yourself. May you be at peace. Okay, if you haven't already, you can open the eyes and give a stretch. And just notice how you feel right now. Notice anything on your mind. So it doesn't have to be these five phrases that you send to yourself, but starting a dialogue where you uh, connect to a sense of yourself uh, that's compassionate, that's can, can sort of tap into life's guidance and, um, and listen to whatever would be nice to hear from that phrase, uh, uh, from, that, from that voice, um, you can create your own phrase and it doesn't have to be formal seated meditation to take a moment and give yourself self-compassion. If uh, you'd like to uh, reach out to us and let us know how you're enjoying these videos, um, or if you'd like to connect with us and, and hear our other offerings, you can contact us at psychwellness at umn.edu. Thanks for joining us today.